Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the third video of our interview SQL series. And in this video, I have taken problem that was asked in Twitter. Now I will show you step by step approach to solve this particular problem. And as always, there are multiple ways to solve one problem. So if you have any other way, you can comment it out and we can discuss it. But in this video, I will explain you the problem and solution in a very simple manner. So even if you are completely beginner, you can understand the problem and solve whatever the problem you might face in the future. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we have a problem which is called as a popular action. Okay, this was asked in Twitter and we're going to be solving this. So. Again, as always, uh, there are multiple ways to solve this problem, but uh, I will show you one one of the easiest way you can solve this particular problem. So if you have any other solution, you can comment it out, but I will give you the step by step approach as a beginner, considering you have no idea about how to solve this particular problem. So we'll start with that. So let's start and understand the problem first. So what are they saying? The event table tracks every time a user performs a certain action. So there is some event table, which is this one events table that tracks the user's actions such as likes, post, enter, etc. on the platform. So considering this is a Twitter platform and this is the Twitter data. So they have like multiple users and they perform certain actions such as they like the tweet, they retweet the tweet, they share it with some other people, they click on some links. So there are multiple actions a user take. Now what they're saying is, Write a query to determine top five action performed during a week of Thanksgiving. Now, what is Thanksgiving? Okay, they have given us the range. This is the th Thanksgiving range. So we can uh, filter out that particular range of data and that will be the data for the Thanksgiving week. And then they are saying is that rank them based on the number of times performed. So what they are saying, write a query to determine top five actions during the week of Thanksgiving and rank them based on number of times performed. So we'll try to understand this particular thing uh, in a while. The output should include action performed, okay? And the rank in ascending order. If two actions were performed equally, then they should have same rank. So this is quite tricky problem. If you are like completely beginner, then you might not be able to understand this, but we will divide this problem into smaller, smaller chunk and try to understand and how to solve it. So they are talking about rank a lot. So if you read this problem, the first thing it should strike in your mind is using some kind of rank. So there are multiple analytical functions available in SQL, such as row number, rank, tense rank. I will put the link in the description. So if you want to read more about it, but I will also explain you in this particular video and just give you the brief idea how to use them in the query. So as always, if you have been following my interview series, you will understand that the first thing we do is check the data. So we have the input, which is the events table and we have like some columns. So what we will do, we will try to query this particular data, select star from and just write the table name events and run the query and see what does the data looks like. So over here, as you can see, we have like multiple users ID. We have some date. This is the date time. Okay. So date time, then the action. So there are multiple actions like feed viewed. If somebody viewed some kind of feed, then post submit some comments, email open, like, and there are multiple actions. Then we have the URL and the platform. So we understood the data, how it is structured. Now let's try to solve this particular problem step by step. Now, the first thing they told is to just directly get the data for Thanksgiving in this particular range. So we can start with that. Okay. We just filter out the data such as write the where condition where, uh, then what is our, uh, this column date column, which is created at now, as you can see, we have the date column is date and time. So what we have to do is if we have to convert this date time into date column. So date column basically means just getting these value and cutting out this time value. So to do that, it is pretty simple. You just write date. You just uh, close this particular thing and now you have to filter out these state. So before even filtering out the data, let's see what this particular function does, because if you have not seen it, then you might not be able and able to understand it. So let's just run this particular thing and let's see what we get. As you can see, it removes all the time from that particular date and time and it will give you date in this particular format. Now what we have to do, we just have to filter out the data based on this date condition. So let's go back and go back to our query, select star from. So now if you want to filter out this data, what you can do, you can just do this, where this is greater than this particular date, which is 2020, 11, 2022. And this, our date created at, let me just copy this, paste this, is less than, uh, what is this date, 28. So we'll just write 28. 
and this should give us the right output right uh, it's it will filter out everything uh, based on the date we have provided but there is a better way better way is using some something called as between so you just have to write where this is between remove this uh, remove this particular thing okay this and this and it should give us the same output so if we run this particular thing we'll get the same output you won't get any other output. so both the things does the same work okay uh, it, it's up to you whatever you use so let me just uh, reformat this properly okay we, we have like select star from where event okay so right now what we did we did our first action which is uh, got the data for thanksgiving week so we get this so now what they're asking is write a query to determine top five action performed during week of thanksgiving so we have to find out top five action now what does that mean it's just to get the count of top five action in that particular week so that is pretty simple so we just need to get like different actions so let's say we have like action email open post submit unsubscribe and everything so we need to get the count of these things and get the top five action performed. So let's say this email open was performed 10 times and this post submit was uh, performed around, let's say 15 times. So we need to get these counts like 15, 10 and all these counts and find out the top five action that was performed in that particular week. Pretty simple, right? So let's try to do that. Now what we will do, we will get the, uh, first we will get the action. What they're asking is the action column. So we'll just write the action now the second thing they are asking is count so like the top five uh, action we need so we'll just do the action let me just get this yeah action and we will give this as ranks just for the visibility and we'll run this okay so we, what do we get we get the action and the rank now if you have like watched the last video of this particular interview series we did the same mistake last time so we forgot to use the group by and that returned something like this so this is giving us the entire count of all the action performed in this particular table what we need to do we need to write group by and just write action over here and just run the query and you will see we got a lot of different ranks or as you can see instead of ranks let's just write count okay just write cnt so this is much better to understand uh right count so this is the count so we have like email open 21 times post submit 20 times unsubscribe 17 times and blah 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 there are multiple events now this is not the final output because if we try to submit this first of all we will get the error because they are they are asking ranks column so let's rename this to ranks and just submit this particular solution and now if you see okay what they are asking is they are asking is the output which is ranks we are getting 14 but they are getting rank as one two three four five what does this mean so what we are currently doing is we are just printing out the count of different action what they have asked is something like this write a query to determine top five action performed during a week of thanksgiving that we did okay this is like the finding like top five action and rank them based on the number of times they have performed now what does this mean let's read more the output should include action performed and their rank in ascending order so they are asking us specifically performing rank in ascending order and if the two actions are performed equally then they should have the same rank so they are specifically telling us to give the rank now what does the rank means let me explain you by ppt so let's try to understand the rank fundamental and i will explain you it in very simple manner so in analytical function we have multiple things but for now just consider we have three things one is row number rank and the dense rank these are the three function available in the sql analytics now the question is what they do so here's the one example we have the salary okay and salary is sorted in the descending order so we have like 10,000 9,000 8,000 7,000 7,000 and 6,000 now when you give the row number okay in analytical function in the descending order it will give the row number based on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay likewise it will give the row number so it will assign some kind of rank to it this is pretty straightforward because it is giving the row number based on the total size of the rows but the second function is rank now what does the rank means it gives the rank based on the order you specify so let's say if you give specify the order based on the descending order so this will get one rank as one this will get rank as two this will get rank as three now over here we are getting seven thousand two times so it will assign four and four to both of these value because we have 
the same data so it will give one two three okay then four and four but it will skip one rank and give this particular thing as six now this is how the rank work now if you consider the dense rank so the difference between rank and the dense rank is that it will give the same value okay it will give the same rank as one two three four four but instead of giving rank as six it will give five so let me explain you this in detail uh, with this particular example. So as we have seen row number will give exactly what we need. But if you use rank function then it will give 1, 2, 3. So it will skip number 5 and number 6 and it will give you 7 at the end. But this will not happen in the case of dense rank. So in the dense rank you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4. But instead of getting 7 it will give you 5 at the end. Now this is very basic difference between row number rank and dense rank. And this is what we are going to use in our query. So let's go back to our query and try to solve this. In simple manner so what are we going to do we'll just uh let me just format this properly so to assign the rank all you have to do is write to something called as rank then over this is the the format or the syntax of how to assign rank to columns then order by then what they're asking is write a query to determine top five action performed during that week so as we already looked at we need a top five action so what are we going to do First, we're going to get the count of action and then sort it by descending order because we need the top five and just rename it as ranks. And let's try to run this particular query and let's see what we get. So now what we are getting, we are getting some output. So as you can see, email, open, post, cancel and like might have like the same count. And that is the reason we are getting rank as one, one, one. Then we have like four, five, five, seven, seven. 9 and you can understand why we are getting this output based on the ppt just i just showed you so let's try to use the dense rank uh just to understand this so dense rank and let's run this particular query and as you can see we have like one 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 two three three it is not skipping any particular value it is giving you a uh, dense rank based on the function you have provided so over here what we have to do we just have to write the top five action so now we just have to limit this particular thing which is particularly limit of five we just need the top five and run this particular query and this is the top five action or the ranks we have and this is what the final output looks like we can just click on the submit solution and it will pass the test cases so so this works correctly now let's try to use the dense rank this should work also because there are, there are not multiple test cases so this also passes but if the input might be might have been different or the some test cases might have been different then dense rank or rank works or does not work according to the input you give so in this particular case both the rank and dense rank is working but again there are multiple ways you can solve this particular problem and if you have some other ways using like let's say ct or subquery or any other way if you know so you can comment it below explain it and help other people to learn also so this is how you solve this particular problem now as i told you previously there are multiple ways you can solve this particular problem so if you have any way Put that in the comment section so we can review it and other people can learn from it. And if you want more of this video then make sure you hit the like button because that way I will know that you want more of this video and I will keep creating these type of video in the future. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.